Hello, welcome back to Pipe Bending College. Today I am going to teach you how to pull a Passover bend using the traditional scissor pipe benders. Right, so the Passover bend consists of three bends. The 60 degree bend, which we do first, then a 30 degree bend and a 30 degree bend. So this bend also appears in plumbing assessments. So for example, 150mm from the centre of this pipe to the centre of the bend, centre of the bend to the centre of this pipe, 230mm. Four thirty mil pipe. Right, because we're gonna, because when we when we bend the pipe round, we're gonna it's gonna we're gonna lose a bit of it. About there, about ten mil over, fifteen mil over, like that. What we then do is we're gonna mark here. So this is where we want the centre of the bends to be. I always like to use an olive for this. It gives a nice accurate. So that's the centre of a that's the centre of the bend. Well we can use to find the centre of this bend and the pipe benders, we're going to use the measure back method, the McCoon measure back method. So because we got 15 mil pipe, we're going to bend it 60 degrees. We need to measure back, looking at the chart, 46 mil, which is here. Okay, so we'll give that some ticks, like that, ticks. So the measure back line needs to be just touching the start of the former there and the centre line needs to be this side not just some way this side that's when I that's 30 now that that's 45 set that to that angle there I'd say that that's 60 degrees there, like that. Place our work onto a to the diagram. Like that. We want this gap here and this gap in here to be the same. So for example, that's not the same as that gap. There, I'd say there, draw two lines like that, and then turn the pipe over and do exactly the same. Then draw a line there and there, like that. And uh, this time, this way up, like this, let the guide in, like this. So that line has just got to touch the former. Like this, it's just touching the form there, like that, like that. Make sure that the pipe is nice and straight in line. And we can then proceed to bend this 30 degrees. Okay, but because we want to get it right, we're not, we're not going to trust the marks, we're going to verify it using our folding ruler. 
So I'll take that 30 degrees there. And take the pipe out. Turn it around, which is this way up. Of the former, it's just got to wiggle it in a bit. Which is bend the pipe. We need to make sure that everything is in line. And we then proceed to bend the pipe on 30 degrees. And again, we check it 30. Cut off where this inserts. Okay, so this is how far this goes into the fitting this far. So if we cut this here, let me cut that there. So that's it. Now you know how to pour a pass over bend, it's your turn to have a go.